So, avo god rows number. Avo god rows number. And then my definition is not going to be lengthy or wordy or anything. It's going to be practical. What this means is we abbreviate it as n a. This means number. This means Avogadro. So Avogadro's number. That's why it's called N-A. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Now, this is a big number. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. What? What it means is, and I'm going to change colors to write the units, and I'm going to put it in quotes, elementary units per... Uh, elementary units per mole. So what it is is defining what a mole is. One mole of something is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd elementary units. So it's the same way of saying the same thing. Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd elementary units per mole. That's what it basically means. So one mole of something is always going to contain this many things. Now what do we mean by elementary units? I, we're not talking about, I haven't even mentioned molecules or anything, so you're wondering what does that mean? Um, well, it's kind of a arbitrary thing and it applies to everything in chemistry, atoms, molecules, or whatever. And the best way to think of Avogadro's number really is to think about a dozen of eggs, right? So you know how many eggs are in the carton. Sometimes we like to count in terms of dozens though. We might say, hey, give me two dozen donuts. Give me three dozen eggs, okay? And everybody knows that there's 12 eggs in a dozen. Why is 12 significant? Well, you could look at the history of that. I mean, there is a history, bakers and baker's dozen and all that stuff. You could go figure out why a dozen was important, but that's kind of irrelevant. Nowadays, a dozen is basically all used around us, so we, we frequently use units of a dozen, right? And so the same thing is going to happen with the mole. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd is such a number that has become so ingrained in chemistry and so useful that frequently you don't even talk about molecules a lot of times. You say, give me two moles of sodium chloride, or give me two moles of hydrogen, or give me 16 and a half moles of calcium, right? That's very common, and so you, you frequently are dealing with the unit of a mole as in an amount of a substance. And the reason you can do that is because a mole is defined to be um, so many elementary units. Now let's talk about this elementary unit thing. The uh, bottom line is an elementary unit can be, right, it can be lots of things. It can be an atom, it can be a molecule. If it's, a if it's a molecular compound, it could be a formula unit. So if you're talking about atoms of hydrogen, or let's say atoms of lithium or something, um, then when you have a mole of it, you'll have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of lithium. That's what you mean when you're talking about atoms of lithium. If you're talking about a molecule of some kind, like water, and you have a mole of water, you'll have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water. Right? If you're talking about something that's an ionic compound like table salt, like sodium chloride or calcium chloride or something like that, then you would say one mole uh, is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd uh, formula units of calcium chloride or whatever. So really, the unit of a mole, that's why they call it elementary units, you can't really say it's the number of atoms or the number of molecules because it applies to all of them. It's a way of measuring whatever you have in the laboratory. If you have a bucket of calcium atoms, pure calcium, right, then a mole is going to be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of that calcium. If you have a bucket of some molecule, nitrous oxide, right, or it would be a tank of nitrous oxide, I guess, then if you get a mole of nitrous oxide at 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd uh, molecules of nitrous oxide. If you have uh, calcium perchlorate up in a jar in your thing and you get two moles of it, then you have two times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd uh, formula units of that substance, right? So it, it's really the same thing, but the books, you know, because they differentiate between molecules and atoms and formula units, it makes it sound so hard, but really it's all the same thing. It's just the mole is referencing whatever unit you have in your bucket. If it's atoms, molecules, whatever, that's why they write the definition in terms of formula or in terms of elementary units. So to kind of drill this in just a little bit more, kind of get a little bit of practice before we do some real problems. One mole of lithium atoms is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd lithium atoms. So you could literally buy lithium by the mole, 
you could go to a you know to a chemical supply company and say give me three moles of lithium and they would know that it's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd lithium atoms for every one of those moles so if i want three moles of it i'm going to multiply by three right if i want one mole of hydrogen molecules you know when you this is a diatomic molecule so when you get hydrogen it's always bonded to itself then what you're going to have is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd H2 molecules. Okay? Now what if we wanted two moles of oxygen molecules? Then what you would have is 2 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Okay?